Hello everyone, Sheree Warwick here with Blockchain Consortium International and Black Blockchain Consultants here with a little blockchain news for you. So I have three articles. I am going to uh, post the uh, links as well, but let's talk about them. The first one is in regards to the three tips for staying on top of the rapidly changing blockchain industry, and this is from Forbes. And they give three tips, which I think is good, but I'm going to add a fourth one here. So the first tip is to look to thought leaders in the space. So find a couple of thought leaders that you uh, believe in and follow them because every day things are changing within the blockchain industry. The second is to use social media for fast paced news. So staying in touch with uh, groups on Telegram or Twitter or you know any other place, Facebook. Uh, this is pla these are places where you can find quickly find information about what's happening in the blockchain industry. Number three is reference multiple publications to cross check news and company information because a lot of misinformation is out there about blockchain or uh, you know people will post things today about you know what was happening a year ago. It's important for us to have multiple publications and to do a lot of cross-checking. Now, I'm going to add a fourth thing here, and this is use common sense. If something sounds too good to be true, in my opinion, it just might be. So, um, there are certain things that are happening in the world in regards to power structures that are going to be very, very difficult to change. And while blockchain may help or may shift, a lot of the way that data is processed, I just personally find it hard to believe that it's going to just dismantle the whole um, centralized system. That's just me. So either way, I always say just add an element of common sense to what we're reading within these articles. So that's article number one from Forbes. Article number two is in regards to the U.S. Senate. They have been holding hearings about blockchain, and they see value in blockchain, especially for the energy sector. And this is from blockonomy.com. So within this article, the uh, author talks about the fact that the uh, energy sector is being affected in a few ways because of blockchain. Number one is with proof of work systems and the immense amount of energy that's required for these proof-of-work blockchain systems, there is a lot of, of, of draw that's coming from or you know, because of the amount of work that's done with proof-of-work of systems, there's a, a massive amount of pressure on the electrical grids for these. Um, and the second thing that the Senate is looking at and discussing with experts is how some of the um, requirements on the electrical grids can be lessened while still um, while people are still able to perform the work with blockchain and with authenticating transactions within blockchain. So. Um, but the U.S. Senate sees advantages in blockchain when it comes to the energy sector. And they recognize that uh, the United States has you know, an infrastructure, an energy infrastructure, a utility infrastructure that is in poor condition. And they are asking themselves how blockchain could potentially help. And one of the things that's in this article is a discussion of how uh, Internet of Things and blockchain can work together in order to create a level of grid efficiency that would be impossible otherwise. So pay attention to what's happening with the government and with blockchain and Internet of Technology and the energy sector and how all of this is working together. The final article that I have here is from Bitcoinist, and it's a new survey from De uh, Deloitte that is saying that 70% of executives are blockchain experts or consider themselves blockchain experts. And um, the, let's see, it was a 2018 blockchain survey 
uh, 1,053 senior executives in seven different countries, Canada, China, Germany, France, Mexico, United Kingdom, and the United States were all um, surveyed. And all of the responders worked at companies generating uh, $500 million or more in annual revenue. And 70% of them considered themselves on a range of excellent to experts. They considered themselves experts in blockchain. So a couple of things I found interesting about this article. The first is I asked myself, well, are they truly experts in blockchain? And I thought, well, maybe because... Uh, the, the industry is moving so rapidly that none of us are really uh, experts or, you know, if we know just enough, we could be considered experts. So I said, OK, well, possibly. Yes. And then I asked myself, OK, well, then they're paying attention. They're paying attention. These big companies are paying attention to what's happening in blockchain. And one of the things that I am uh, listening to a lot of forums and, and talking with a lot of people, and we just see that when blockchain finally uh, figures out some of the final issues um, and, and produces a great use case, these executives are going to be ready with their budgets in hand to implement blockchain. And the question as a consultant is, will you be ready to take advantage of that? So that's blockchain news for today. This is August 23rd. Thanks so much for listening. Have a blessed day.